So there's a um, post by, I think her name is Tangy Franks, uh, and uh, it basically says, congratulations to Marissa Silver, a 29-year-old UX designer making 95K a year. How she knows how, how much she makes. I don't know if she just did a quick search or the person told her. Uh, she says she just proposed to her boyfriend of 10 years, uh, Deshaun Jr. He's a line cook at Waffle House. Generation uh, Z is really built differently. And then uh, have like a heart emoji. So at the end of the day, this is this was to shame men. Um, and at the end of the day, it's very interesting when the men are talking about um, commenting on the Ashanti, um, you know, Nelly relationship, you hear women all say, mind your business, they're doing their thing, ain't got nothing to do with you, right? Anybody speak on what's going on with other relationships, mind your business. But everybody had their two cents to say something about this, right? And you have a woman proposing in the picture, a black couple proposing to her man. At the end of the day, if this worked for them, cool. Right, the ninety-five k a year, and then to say we won't miss, don't want to say his salary, right? But just kind of like saying he can't be that much. I mean, you don't know what folks are making. They got people at Walmart right now making four hundred a k, three hundred k, right? Um, you don't know how much he's getting. He might be the line cook and running the Waffle House as well. He might be the franchise owner, right? But it just shows you the, the mentality um, this generation has of throwing dirt on anyone that is not quote unquote white collar, so to speak, right? They throw dirt on a plumber's name, electrician, uh, garbage man's name, right? But these same people that throw dirt on these folks' names go to these restaurants. They call these folks for service. They call the electrician, the plumber, the mechanic, right? But we'll shame them and say, oh, you guys ain't making them like that but need their services. You don't know how much someone makes, right? And if a person, let's say a person is making 40K, 50K, you don't know if that person owns property. You don't know how many assets that person has. You don't know how much intellectual property they own. You don't know what's in their savings. You don't know what's in their checking. You don't know what was left to them. You don't know how many stocks they own. But we just have a mentality of folks that just go off of a salary and hourly rate as the end all be all you take taxes out of that 95k that person's making about 70 something a year and we don't know the person's bills right we don't know the expenses that they have so at the end of the day if she want to propose cool you know traditional the man proposes right traditional this that and the third but we always hear women always say that you know we don't have to be like our grandparents. We don't have to be like our grandmothers or uh, their mothers and all that, right? We're we're a new generation, right? So why is it still ex expectation for tradition in this element right here? Please.